Well, we're excited to be here in Manchester. Uh, this is an uh, exciting time of the year for all the teams that have uh, endured a long season and able to play in the national term and play for a national championship. So we're excited. We're looking forward to tomorrow afternoon and, and playing UNH in front of their crowd, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. We'll now open up to questions for the student-athletes. Um, Mike Z with New York Hockey Journal. Uh, for Pat, uh, could you just give us the short version, Pat, how a guy from uh, Bayport ends up at Miami and what these last four years have been like for you? Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a long journey for me. Uh, I came into school as a 21-year-old freshman. You know, um, hockey hockey wasn't really too big in Long Island when I first started out, uh, but it's progressively grown to become uh, pretty popular. Um, made my way to the Eastern Junior Hockey League. Uh, where I played in Springfield, Springfield, Massachusetts. So it was, uh, for two years, it was a lot of fun. And then, um, you know, headed out west to Cedar Rapids, Iowa, uh, where I was recruited by Miami. And, uh, you know, it was a dream come true for me. Miami, uh, Miami has been great to me, and it's been an uh, unbelievable four years. It's been a great ride. Uh, Rick Cassano from the Hamilton Journal. Uh, for, for all of you guys, um, what do you remember about the uh, the first two games you played against New Hampshire? Obviously, it was a long time ago, um, but what's your recollections from that weekend? Uh, they're an extremely talented team. Uh, they have a great group of forwards, and their defensemen love to jump in the play. So we've been, you know, we remember that, and we have lots of video on them. And uh, you know, they're one of the top teams in the country as well. So um, you know, we take that into consideration and uh, be ready to go tomorrow. Uh, you know, it's good. Car said they're they're a good. They have a good group of forwards and, uh, you know, good, strong D. So, you know, they're also a team that, you know, capitalize a lot on your, your mistakes. Uh, you know, they're good on the rush. So we just have to uh, limit our mistakes and play uh, play good defensively. Yeah, I think they covered it all pretty much. Any more questions for the student-athletes? Uh, this is for Andy. Um, you guys having a lot of seniors. Uh, I think the New Hampshire players were asked this too. Is do you feel more of a sense of urgency or, or uh, going into this game, and can that add to the the whole pressure aspect? Uh, no, I don't. Um, having having a veteran group like we do is definitely a positive. Uh, we've been in this position before. Um, we've all been very excited to get here, uh, so it should be a good weekend of hockey. Carter, from that first weekend, uh, obviously you had a pretty big weekend scoring-wise. Uh, right place at the right time kind of weekend, or was there something you, you saw you were able to uh, to get through there? Yeah, I mean, I think it was more the right place at the right time. I, I have trouble remembering all the way back there. Uh, back that weekend, but I remember I was playing with Alden Hirschfeld and Pat Teasling at the time, so, um, you know, my lines changed a bit, but I'm still paired with Hirschfeld, and uh, hopefully we can have the same success, and um, other lines will contribute in it contribute tomorrow night, I know that. That's all we have for the student athletes. No, one more. Can you guys talk about uh, what's happened to this team since January 22nd? Um, has there been one thing that's been a change or, or just has everything uh, just been kind of ramped up across the board? Uh, well, I'd say that, you know, we're playing a 60 minute game now. Uh, we're not taking periods off. Uh, we have everyone going from goaltenders uh, up to the defense, up to the forwards, uh, freshmen all the way up to seniors. So everyone's going, everyone's on the same page, and we're playing with confidence, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, the, uh, the one weekend that comes to mind in particular is uh, Michigan State weekend. Uh, you know, we, we dropped the first game on Friday night, and uh, we knew our backs were against the wall. So, you know, we as a group, you know, we really came together, and you know, ever since then, we uh, we bought into playing, you know, strong defensively, and um, it's uh, it's worked for us so far. All right, we thank Andy, Pat, and Carter for joining us. I wish you guys the best of luck tomorrow afternoon. It's a four o'clock game. If there are any more specific questions for student athletes from Miami University, uh, we invite you to ask Michael Weissman, their sports information director. Thanks. Thank you. Tomorrow's game at four o'clock will be televised live on ESPNU. And now 
we ask if you have any questions for Coach Blasio that you raise your hand and be discovered. Gavin Fretcher with the Concord Monitor. Uh, Coach Umilly said that uh, he admires everything you've done with your program and has a tremendous amount of respect for you. What, what does that mean to you to hear a guy like that say something about you like that? And you know, what is the relationship like between you two guys? Well, he's uh, first of all, I need to thank him for that because he's one of the guys that I've looked up to. You know, one of the things that we've tried to uh, basically. Uh, use his program as a guide to how to run a program. And uh, I think this is, I don't know, I was joking with him earlier, his 20th year in the national term in a row. Um, you know, he's he's first class, uh, always has his teams playing well, um, recruits great kids, and that's what we've tried to do at Miami. So for him to give us a compliment like that uh, is, is uh, the utmost respect for him and, and what he's been able to do and, and basically teach us a little bit. He's one of the coaches, and there's a few of them out there that <clears throat> as a young coach, as an assistant young coach, um, he's not afraid to share his story and, and how he does things. And um, that goes a long way. And obviously, we've been able to become better friends over the last uh, little while here. But, uh, uh, you know, this is beyond our friendships beyond the game. The game's one thing, and then our friendship's another. And uh, once the game starts, we'll be competitive. And then after that, I'm sure uh, we'll, we'll still be friends. And, and that's, the way, uh, that's the way hockey is. Um, it's a small net group. It's, we're all in this thing to help young men uh, develop as, as people, as hockey players, and hopefully move them on to the National Hockey League or whatever they may do. And uh, certainly, Dick Humilia is one of the premier coaches in, in the country. Hey, Coach, uh, Joe Maloney, College Hockey News. Uh, can you just talk about the senior class? It seems like since they got here four years ago, you kind of wanted them to have a big impact on the program as a whole. Can you just talk about you know how they started in their development over the last four years? Well, I mean, you know, you can look at the stats all you want, all those, all the games they've won and accomplishments uh, on and off the ice. But uh, you know, what comes to mind to me is the type of people that they are. Um, they've really been able to put our program. Uh, in a position where, uh, you know, not only are we respect it on the ice, but what we do off the ice. And, um, you know, we lost one of our, our classmates and Tommy Wingles to the National Hockey League. But the five that are that remained, uh, Andy, Carter, um, Pat, Vincent, and Justin, have just done an unbelievable job leading this program. And uh, one of the things that's important to to our culture and our program is to leave it better than you found it. And when they got here, it was in pretty good shape with guys like Ryan Jones and Nate Davis, and uh, they've taken it to a new level. And uh, you can they can graduate uh, here in a couple of months and say that they left it better than they found it, and that's that's a, a, a big you know accomplishment for them. Just one more. At the beginning of the year, it seemed like uh, your guys were a little. I don't know if they lacked focus or whatever, but uh, you, you got in a little trouble in the standings. Can you just talk about the moment where you guys kind of turned around, and was it them that kind of pulled the team together? Well, we felt all year that we had a, a pretty good team, uh, a team that, if challenged, would rise to the occasion and play pretty well, um, a team that we thought could beat anybody in the country. Um, unfortunately, sometimes when you have a veteran team, you know, you, you have to find new ways to challenge them and motivate them. and. I always had a sense that we were just waiting for something to pull the team together. Um, you know, somebody mentioned the January 21st, 22nd weekend at Michigan State. Um, that was a tough weekend for, for everybody. Uh, not only did we lose a game on Friday night pretty handedly to Michigan State, um, the coaching staff made a decision with the blessing of the captains to sit out four regulars and play only 15 players. And... Um, you know, that could have gone either way. <laughs> that could have helped us and or it could have really hurt us and spiraled down in a, in a bad situation. But um, these three guys stepped up, and we were able to win that game the next night with 15 skaters on the road. And since then, the focus has been there, the purpose has been there, and it's just started, you know, it was a snowball that just 
continue to move forward in a positive way. Was there anything said that night, or was it just, you know, kind of that action of, of only dressing 15 people was enough for them to figure it out? That was it. Uh, Mike Mackinac, College Hockey News coach. I know that the focus, obviously, this weekend is on the games, but I'm just wondering for a minute, could you give us your reaction to the, the news uh, of the last week? Uh, obviously, some big stories coming out of the CCHA. Uh, that we won the league championship? No, I know what you mean. I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, uh, it's hard for me to say. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, as Tom Anastas said in his press conference, it's a little bit of shock and awe. Uh, to use his words. Um, you know, Tom's a very good friend. He did a lot of great things for the CCHA and helped us as a league, and uh, particular for us at Miami and, and us as coaches. Um, you know, I'm happy for him. I wish him the best of luck. Um, it's not for me to say whether it's the right move or the wrong move. He's, he's a hockey man, and I'm sure he'll do a great job. Um, uh, unfortunately, the Big Ten uh, is happening, and you know, we got two more years to play Michigan State, so uh, after that, I don't know what will happen. We'll, we'll see, but uh, it's, uh, uh, it's definitely going to change the landscape of college hockey for sure. And, um, you know, it's it, hopefully, you know, if, if history repeats itself, uh, there was a time when uh, the Michigans, the Michigan States of the world played in the WCHA, and, and they left the WCHA, and everybody said the WCHA would never last, and, uh, well, you know, 20 years later, WCHA is in pretty good shape. And uh, uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, uh, the people that are making the decisions at a higher level will think about college hockey as a whole and, uh, and do the right thing. Can you uh, characterize New Hampshire from an opponent's standpoint? They're throwing some weaknesses from what you can see. Well, geez, I mean, <laughs> you talk about our seniors. They got a slew of seniors that can score goals just as as good as anybody in the country. Thompson, Cislo, De Simone. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Kessel on D. Uh, Did Geralmo's playing great in net. You know, he's he's capable of stealing games. Um, you know, they're well coached. I mean, at this time of the year, you're playing great teams, and we know exactly what they're going to bring. They're going to bring their speed. They're going to bring their transition. If you're not ready to play, they're going to bury you. And uh, our focus all week is, has been to play our best hockey come 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And hopefully we can do that. Can you just talk for a minute about your program overall and, and kind of knocking on the door of a, of a national championship in the last few years and, and how difficult that is to, to keep getting there and to kind of break through that too well it's <laughs> only one team can raise a trophy at the end of the year and uh, you know everybody strives to, to be one of the top 16 teams that's difficult in itself uh, and then to go into a one game you're in you're out uh, situation uh, that's just extremely difficult because everybody wants to win everybody plays hard you're, you're, again you're playing great teams you're playing teams that are coming off pretty good seasons otherwise they're not going to be here so um, it's tough. Uh, it's a grind. Uh, you know, it's it's. You need a little bit of luck. You need the right situation. You need goaltending. You need uh, a bounce here and there. It's it's not necessarily uh, always the best team. Uh, maybe the most opportunistic team, the team that's playing the best on those two weekends. And you know, it's uh, you know, there's some years where you think one team's going to make it, and all of a sudden it's somebody else that comes out of the woodwork. But uh, I can tell you that uh, from my perspective, it's the teams like UNH, Michigan, North Dakota that have been able to do it for more than five, six years. And I think for us, six years has been pretty good. But the teams that have done it beyond that, uh, and UNH is certainly one of them, uh, Michigan, I mentioned North Dakota, that's a, that's a heck of a feat. That's, that's an unbelievable. You know, it's, uh, we as coaches live it every day. <laughs> You guys get to write about it. It's it's difficult to do that, especially in today's hockey and college hockey. When you have guys leaving for the National Hockey League, um, to do it year after year after year is is incredible. <laughs>